Uh oh. Uh oh, we're just gonna back. Uh oh, there goes the truck. Uh oh. There's a whole truck in the water. Oh no. Good afternoon, guys! Welcome to Life Apollo, some of the most trusted beard and automotive news. Happy to have you here. Holy cow, do we have a phenomenal episode in store for all of you guys watching today. Thanks for taking a couple minutes out of your day to spend here with me. It means a lot. But real quick, guys, a word about yesterday's video. We tried something a little bit different yesterday, talking about the financial situations of one extraordinarily successful automotive YouTuber and then someone outside of the YouTube realm. Some people really enjoyed it, some people definitely did not, and that's perfectly okay. I think it's a good thing to be able to branch out, sort of expand my horizons, try new things every once in a while, and I hope you guys will allow me to do so on this channel from time to time. They won't all be good ideas. I can tell you that right now, but I do promise it'll be an intriguing and interesting ride. Anyway, enough about that, guys. Beard Nation, let's go. Now, an absolute ton of stuff has happened over the last two days. A little bit surprisingly, a Christmas upon us, all that kind of jazz, but nevertheless, the automotive community continues to push out unique and interesting content, and a lot of creators have saved some of their craziest content for the last couple days. Coming out in the number one spot today, guys, is Tavares in the extension of the Incredible Car Trek series, his latest video in Titled, we took our unreliable luxury cars on a 300 mile Christmas road trip and they all broke. This has been one of the best surprises to sort of close out a rather unfortunate 2020 year to have Ed Bolian, uh, Tyler from Hoovy's Garage, and Tavares get together to produce more incredible car track episodes. Tavares has actually been posting these just about every single day, so you feel free to jump over there and get caught up on every single car track episode. You're gonna absolutely love this particular series. Three of my favorite automotive influences influencers in the space. One final note here, uh, with the success of Car Trek and now Sorted, I'm curious if we're going to see more Auto Tempest sponsored shows that bring together big collaborations between monster automotive YouTubers. In the comments below, what kind of show would you like to see and who would you like to see on it? Let me know in the comments below. I think it'd be really interesting to get your guys' thoughts on where this could go. Next up guys, uh, one of the largest automotive YouTube channels on the planet, CarWow, has a very special video that highlights some very interesting things about modded and stock cars. The title alone is incredibly intriguing by itself. Uh, BMW M5 1000 horsepower versus Audi RS3 800 horsepower versus Porsche 911 Turbo S, the last one entirely stock. This drag race was full of uh, very interesting malfunctions, uh, mishaps, all sorts of stuff, but definitely gives you an understanding of why sometimes modded cars, despite having a crazy advantage in horsepower or traction or whatever like that, uh, can have major issues uh, during sort of performance tests like this. It's one of the many reasons why I don't mod my cars too far. I generally leave them sort of in the middle ground because when you get to the very top ends, reliability tends to become an issue. Uh, not all the time, but a lot of the time it does. If there's one car wow video that you watch during December, make it be this one. You'll get a great understanding of how they run their show and you'll get just an awesome, very interesting drag race. Check them out. Next up guys, let's talk about one of our headline stories. Uh, as you know, we've been following the Hunicorn Verse versus the World Series. Uh, amazing races over there. 4GT, F8 Tributo. Uh, we had the all-wheel drive four-rotor from Rob Dom. But things might have gotten just a little bit more interesting. A uh, comment left behind on one of their latest videos on the Hoonigan channel uh, by Daily Driven Exotics has a lot of people, uh, well, liking the comment to start with. Them saying, haha, you got all the slow supercars. Call me if you want a real race. Now the question here is what car does Daily Driven Exotics think can beat the Hoonicorn. Obviously, they have a lot of incredible supercars, uh, the 720, the Murcielago, the Gallardo, but none of those, uh, unless something really crazy happens, uh, would have any real chance against the Hoonicorn. Even a tuned 720S with a perfect driver, I don't know if it would be that much faster than an F8. Both cars are extraordinarily similar, and we all saw how the F8 video went. Now, on the flip side for a second, uh, we do have the, the long-worked-on uh, twin-turbo F12. Uh, if that thing got completed, uh, going against the Hoonicorn might be a really incredible start to that car's life after the twin turbo. And the very outside chance is, as you guys know if you've been watching Daily Driven Exotics over the last couple weeks, they've been teasing another GTR purchase, and not just 
anyone. Uh, one of the ads that Damon did, he was sitting inside a, a very extreme version uh, of the GTR that I believe had up to like 14 or 1500 horsepower. That could certainly contend with something like the Hoonicorn if they actually bought it. I don't know guys, it's a little bit of conjecture, but hard to know what's actually going to happen. I can only sort of hope and pray that we get some very interesting video out of this sort of offhanded comment. But let me know in the comments below, do you want to see this race and what car should DDE bring to challenge? Let me know. All right, next guys, we're gonna be covering something that happened to Shmi on Instagram and is just one of the weirder things that I've seen over the past couple weeks, especially considering the activity of other YouTubers, you'll understand in a moment. So here's what happened guys. Shmi got onto Instagram and posted what I thought was a relatively innocuous post uh, saying I'm in Dubai and collecting a new DBX. Thanks to Aston Martin, I'm getting behind the wheel of the Aston Martin Laganda SUV for the first time to see what it's all about. I got a lot of big plans and amazing videos coming soon for you. Stay tuned. And within a couple moments of that post going live, a number of people started to bash Shmi for just simply traveling, saying Shmi 150 main reason for the spread of COVID, LOL, almost as if the rules don't apply. Another post saying still spreading that virus around completely unnecessarily, I see. Now, now Shmi actually got on and responded with no hesitation uh, and his responses were extraordinarily well worded uh, and, and relatively long as well and were well received by his fans. First saying the rules of both the UK and Dubai end allow business travel, not to mention having a test before traveling and a test on arrival. There's enough doom and gloom in the world, so let's keep things more positive and focus on enjoying cars, please. Grumpy negativity in general will be deleted. We don't need it here. Thank you everyone. Uh, with over 750 likes here, just the time that I'm telling you. In a secondary post, he also reiterated most of the first and added something additional saying that he was required to take a test before and after travel. Uh, both of those were negative as well. What's truly baffling to me here is I don't understand how Shmi became uh, the target of people angry about COVID in general. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. There are so many YouTubers that have taken literally zero precautions at all and aren't shy to tell people that. I find it so strange that simply the act of traveling for Shmi is enough to get him uh, some relatively serious online hate. It's just a very, very bizarre thing to have to discuss. But as always, guys, I'm gonna leave it up to you in the comments. Do you think that Shmi overstepped for simply the act of traveling? Uh, or do you think his response was enough to quell any of your doubts about the situation? Let me know. Next up, just a, a phenomenal video uh, from Donut Media, guys. This one had me smiling through and through. Uh, the video title alone is just awesome. Seven car toys, all 90s kids will remember. Leave it to Donut Media to get me feeling something for toys that I haven't seen in over uh, 15, 20 years at this point, not sort of aging myself here. Uh, but make sure to go check it out, guys, especially if you're like around 30. If you're around age 30, uh, this is gonna mean a ton to you. Go check it out, guys. Phenomenal video. Uh, just awesome to sort of round out 2020 with a video like this from Donut Media. Go check it out. Link for that video in the description below if you wanna see. Then we got a killer video uh, from Drag Times, guys. Another dream matchup. I was just uh, ready to click on immediately enough to beat the 720S and F8 with a question mark. Modified Porsche 992 Turbo versus stock drag race. Uh, like we talked about for a, a number of months now, Drag Times continually has some of the best matchups in the dream car exotic world of really any channel and they do it in a way that's extraordinarily consistent and very high quality and also very accurate as well. If you haven't given Drag Times a try, make sure to go check them out and do so. It's worth your time. Next up guys, it appears that we have another Lamborghini Murcielago joining the uh, the automotive YouTube sphere. Uh, JR Garage guys buying a Lamborghini Murcielago Cash at 21 rare gated six speed. What can I say guys? I have a soft spot in my heart for the Murcielago. Uh, ever since I saw one as a kid, I knew I wanted one and it might or might not be the next car that I'm trying to get for my garage. Uh, hopefully over the next year, year and a half, it'll be a little bit of time. Still have a lot of stuff to do on the Ferrari FF and the McLaren 570S, uh, but I do want a Lamborghini at some point. Uh, the the, the Murcielago sound is just one of the craziest things ever. They're considering straight piping it on JR Garage. Make sure to go check it out if you haven't checked out their channel lately. 
Next, I've got to mention the straight pipes, guys. Uh, their review, uh, just the, the, the car name alone was enough to get me to click, guys. Wow, 2020 Alfa Romeo Stelvio Ti Nero Etzione Review. I have no doubt that I mispronounced at least three words in that, guys, but, but bear with me. It's a lot to remember when I'm talking, but make sure to go check out the review, guys. Fantastic review channel and great video. And last but certainly not least, guys, Rich Rebuilds. Uh, the title alone says it all. Building the world's first V8 swap Tesla. Uh, what can I even say? Go watch the video. Uh, Rich Rebuilds, one of the most entertaining uh, automotive YouTube channels and has a, a really healthy dose of humor in pretty much all of his episodes. I think you'll really enjoy it if you've never I think you'll really enjoy it if you've never given him a chance so far. Just a, a wild, wild ride over there. And folks, that's all I've got for you guys today. Hope you had a good time watching the video. We love what we do here at Life of Palos, guys. Automotive news will always remain a staple. Uh, I do like doing general commentary from time to time, and I hope you won't get too mad at me for it. But have a fantastic rest of your day. Hope the holiday season has been treating you very nicely, and make sure to stay safe, sane, and healthy. I'm out.